so I've been watching a lot of books on Lala lately, which is no surprise because she's fantastic. Uh, anyways, I have a, an idea for a video that I want to try. As you may know, if you listened to me last year complaining about people saying that it was the start of a new decade, we're coming into the start of the new decade because decades begin in years that end in one because there was no year zero. So to usher in the new decade, I thought it might be fun to read all the books that came out the year before the decade started. So all the 2020, 2020 releases that I have downstairs in my, I almost called it a stash because I've been knitting a lot in my TBR. Um, so I'll update you later with what books those are because I just haven't sorted it out yet. But I'm going to start with The Midnight Library by Matt Haig. This was a book I got for Christmas. I am currently on page 103, 102. So I'm about a third of the way through. I'm enjoying it so far, but I thought I would just get this started now because I have some time to read and I'll update you later on how it's all going. I'll see you then. Okay. It's the next day, and I have, oh no, a list that I have now ripped of um, books that came out in 2020 that I'm going to read for this little, little bit of time. They're all here beside me. Uh, I'll start off with saying that I have finished uh, The Invisible Library by Matt Haig, and it was really good. I rated it a five star. Is it a five star? I don't know, but I can't think of a reason why to not rate it five stars. So that's where I am. Um, so I think I'll start by just listing off the books that I have read so far that were published in 2020. I think there's 13 of them. So I read the Hallmark <laughs> Christmas cookbook. It was great. In a Holidays by Christina Lauren. Dying in a Winter Wonderland, Modern Comfort by Ina Garden, uh, Shadow School by an author whose name I forget, it's AJ something, it starts with a letter at the end of the al alphabet, Folklords, Petals to the Metal by the McElroys, Mexican Gothic, uh, King of Crows by Libba Bray, can't believe that came out in 2020, can you? <laughs> uh, Other People by CJ Tudor. Luke Skywalker, The Manga, Such a Fun Age, and Secret Gate, which is the second book in a Nice 12 series that I really enjoy. There is a whole bunch of books that are on my interested list. I did buy one of them today, uh, which is The House in the Cerulean Sea, because I did meant to buy it yesterday when I was coming home from work because I do really want to read this. I heard it's great. So there is that. But on to the more exciting part of the list. So the first thing I have written down is The Invisible Life of Abby LaRue. Great. Then I have Deadly Education. Did I buy both of those on staff appreciation? Yes. Uh, the next one I have is Holopox. I don't have a physical copy of it. I'm on hold for it at the library. I also have uh, Spy School Revolution, which came out this year on hold at the library as well, which I will read. This book that I don't know how to pronounce that it looks great. And I'm very excited for Midnight Library. Uh, End of Her by Sherry Lapina. I bought that the day it came out. A Wizard's Guide to Baking, I think it's called. I'm ordering that one. It's on its way. It looks super cute. Year of the Witching. Glass Hotel, also on the way. I don't have it yet. Uh, My Dark Vanessa. I got that as an arc. Eight Perfect Murders. Pre-ordered that, got it when it came out. High Fire by Owen Colfer. Very excited about that. 
I am currently reading Sex and Vanity. I took the jack dust jacket off while I'm reading it. It's by Kevin Kwan. I'm only like 20 pages in, but I'm enjoying it. Uh, and then things that weren't on my list that I also believe came out this year. On um, Pandemics by David Walter Toas. Um, Here and Now by Santa Montefiore. I haven't read from her before, so I'm excited about that. Uh, Monstrous Volume 5. Still haven't read Monstrous Volume 4. Plain Bad Heroines by Emily M. Demforth. Demforth. Uh, Pull of the Stars by Emma Donahue. And Hidden Valley Road. I believe this came out this year. I should probably check that. Yeah, I work in a bookstore. No big deal. 2020. Perfect. So I think I think that's it for my shelves um, of books that were published this year. Pretty sure. Anyways, those are the books that I'm going to start with. Um, I'm going to read as many of these as I can before I get bored of doing this video. Uh, I have some cool things I want to do in the new year. Also, deeply inspired by books and Lala. Uh, obviously, unlike her, I can't do this all in a week. I mean, she she wouldn't do it all this in a week either. Um, as much as I love and respect her, I do have to have realistic ideations of my heroes. So, uh, yeah, I'm tired. It's like, you know... You know what my work schedule is like. So I'm going to go to bed, read some more Sex and Vanity, put on my wrist brace because my arm is really sore today. Uh, oh, another fun piece of news. I uh, got safety safety shoes today. I got my toes. I'm very excited for that because I can use a pallet jack now. Um, it's a sad life and that's what you're excited about. But here we are. So um, thanks for watching. Sorry that my life's a mess. Um, big takeaways of today is Midnight Library, great book, really enjoyed that. Uh, trigger warning for suicide though. Um, and Sex and Vanity, first 20 pages is, is quite good, enjoying it. Um, yeah, there might be a couple other books that I buy from 2020 and we'll, we'll good night. Hello, I just finished eating dinner and having my post-dinner tea um, and I took a quick break from doing this 2020 thing that I'm doing uh, to read the third book in the Jedi Academy because I had it out from the library and it was good I enjoyed it um, I think that the next book is switching who the author illustrator is so I'm not sure how I feel about that but we'll cross that one across it I read a little bit more of uh, yeah, sex and Vanity last night. Uh, it's pretty good. I'm enjoying it. I like how it tracks everyone's alma maters. Um, but not a lot has happened yet, so I don't really have too much to say about it. Anyways, I'll catch up with you later. So I just finished Sex and Vanity. It was really sweet. I really didn't like uh, part two at the beginning, but I ended up really enjoying it at the end. So uh, that was a great reading experience. I think I'm going to rate it a four. It is very different than Crazy Rich Asians, uh, but I think I liked it slightly more. So I have Spy School on my e-reader, so I hope to read that tomorrow. But I think my next physical read is going to be A Deadly Education by Naomi Nomadic. Um yeah, that's all my update. Uh, I have my aunt and uncle coming over soon, so I'm going to go hang out with the family, but I'll catch up with you later. It is now 2021, a wild time to be alive. I'm, I'm a little bit drunk. I had, I had three drinks tonight, so you know, not, not really drunk. Uh, but I do finish two books today. Um, the first one I finished was Alaskan Holiday because it's uh, the last day that I feel I can really read a Christmas book, and I didn't want to keep it on my uh, read reading shelf until next year. Um, I also read Spy School 
uh, American Revolution from start to finish. Uh, and that was a delight. I rated it four stars. For those of you new to this journey of me reading exclusively middle grade, I love Spy School. It is one of my favorite series right now. Um, and it's a delight. I don't have a physical copy. I borrowed it from the library in my e-reader, so I don't have a book to put in my book stack because it was a 2020 release. Um, but that was nice. It meant that I read a 116 books this year, as long as I didn't forget to put anything in my Goodreads. I did also make a little bit more of progress uh, with a Deadly Education by Naomi Nomovic. It is delightfully strange. However, it is uh, 1213 or 0013 for those of you who do 24 hour time like I normally do. Um, and I'm going to go to bed. I woke up at 430 this morning. I did take a nap, but I am tired. This is way past my bedtime. Um, so I'll check in with you tomorrow to give you more reading updates, life updates. I'll see you then. <coughs> so I definitely forgot to update yesterday. Uh, I had fondue with my family in the evening and then went to bed. And I worked this morning. So there you go. Uh, I still have yet to finish A Deadly Education, but I'm really loving it. It is fantastic. I have about a third of the way left. I think I can finish it tonight. Um, we just finished watching the first two episodes of The Mandalorian. I have watched the first season before I watched it with my students last year, but my, neither of my parents had watched it. So that was a lot of fun. Um, and right now I'm just uh, playing a little, a little Animal Crossing before bed. Um, but that's about it. Um... Hopefully I'll finish this tomorrow so that I can read um, some of my library books that I have on hold. So I have the third Morgan Crow book um, there ready for me to read right now, which I'm very excited about. Uh, and I also just got my hold for Real Men Knit, which is a romance novel um, about knitting. <laughs> just gonna be interesting. I'm still not sure if I like romance, but... Um, I cannot resist a knitting book. So uh, that's it. That's all I have. I'll update you tomorrow um, with hopefully something fun. See you then. Maybe someday I'll give you an update that doesn't happen at nighttime. Uh, today I finished A Deadly Education. I mean, like, it's only the first book that I read in 2021, but it might be a favorite of 2021 because it was fantastic. So I finished that last night before I went to bed. I actually slept in today, which was kind of nice. I didn't wake up until 7.30, which is super late for me. Um, I work tomorrow morning, so it's a one day chance. Uh, I also took a nap this afternoon because I was exhausted and I've read... About half of Monstrous Volume 4 so far today. I need to read that so I can read Monstrous Volume 5. Uh, my goal was to start Hollow Pox today. That hasn't happened yet. There's still time. Um, but as I said, I'm pretty tired. So I'm just uh, going to head on, head on into bed um, and see what happens tomorrow. I don't have any plans for when I get off. But uh, I do have a bullet journal that I want to work on. Um, started that doing an art deco theme this year. So that should be fun and interesting. We'll see how that continues to go. Uh, it's purple. So if I get some work done, maybe I'll show you some of uh, what I've done there. I just want to pick up a new pen. I want to get a new Tombow for it. Um, but yeah, that's it. Um, thanks. And see you tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow. Hello and good evening. It is almost eight o'clock. Uh, got my new wrist brace, so I am double braced now. Um, I have tendonitis in both my arms. Um, and when it gets particularly painful, I sleep with braces on because uh, it helps me stop from curling my hands in my sleep, which aggravates it. Um, so I found that it, that it helps. 
uh, along with some anti-inflammatories, <laughs> massage, and stretching. Um, so hopefully my arms get back to normal soon because this isn't ideal, but they are particularly painful right now, so I threw on my braces for a long time. I was missing my left brace while I was traveling, so like years ago, and my arms hadn't been that bad, so I hadn't replaced it, so I had to get a replacement one today. Um, this one's really the right size for me, it's a medium. I bought the right brace first, it's a small, um, it doesn't quite fit as well. This one is a little bit, it feels feels better to me. I mean, the, this one still works, uh, but eventually I will probably replace it for a medium because it's, uh, it's better. Uh, but you, you don't care about my tendonitis or my wrist braces. Uh, you're here to find out about my reading. I have read quite a bit of The Trials of Morgan Crow today on my e-reader. I'm on page 221 now, so I probably read about 200 e-reader pages, which is probably about 100 real pages of the book, uh, which is great. I kind of regret that I don't have this series in physical form because I do really love it, but at the same time, I don't need to buy any more books. So maybe someday, we'll see. Um, I also decided that my next physical read is going to be on Pandemics by David Waltner Tones to cross off the nonfiction for the month. Uh, so I haven't read a Canadian book yet, so that's uh, the next thing that I'll do after I'm done that one. Um, otherwise, like, I've done pretty pretty well. I read a graphic novel that will be a nonfiction, a middle grade, and a fantasy. So we'll see what other genres I can get in there. A lot of the stuff that I have on my plate is uh, fantasy right now and fiction. Um, but I do have Sherry Lapina's The End of Her, which is a Canadian author and a thriller, so that could cross off two more things. That'd be kind of cool. Um, yeah, I just talked a lot. I'm tired. I'm going to go to bed. I work tomorrow morning again, so what else is new? But I'll catch up with you tomorrow. Uh, hopefully I'll finish Morgan Crow tomorrow so we can move on to other books. See you then. I didn't really do a lot of reading today because one of my friends that's in my bubble came over. And we had a really lovely afternoon. Uh, we watched... Death Tourist, which is a show from 2018, about death, or sorry, Dark Tourist, which is about dark tourism. It's really good if you haven't watched it. It was one of my favorite ba favorites back in 2018, along with A Useless Guide to Cheating Death, which I believe is no longer on Netflix and got kicked off because of Gwyneth Paltrow's show, which someday I probably will hate watch. But in exciting book news, my copy of Spells on Wheel, Volume 2, arrived today. So that will be the next graphic novel that I read. It was published in 2020. Today was also a big release day. Uh, there's a couple books that came out today that I'm interested in. Uh, most notably, Char excuse me, Charles Soule's new Star Wars book. Looks really good. I have really been enjoying his Darth Vader series that I've been reading, um, which is a graphic novel that he did the writing for. So I can only assume that this is also going to be great. I have the day off tomorrow, which is really exciting. Um, so I will get quite a bit read, I think, tomorrow. I hope to finish Morgan Crow. I don't know if that's doable, seeing as though I still have over half the book left to read in an ebook form. The book is over 800 pages. That being said, it does go quite quickly. Here, I'll tell you. Oh, right. I've um, wanted to put a book on hold, so I exited out of the book. I'm 37% of the way through, so I'm on page 328 of 849. And we're going to read before I go to bed, and then we're going to listen to a podcast. I'm going to do some reading first, um, and then get to that. I was looking at my library holds, because I was putting uh, the first Jack Ryan book on hold. Yeah, I'm watching the show right now with my dad, and I've really been enjoying it. I was trying to remember what the <laughs> book's title was, but it slipped my mind. So I put that on hold because I thought, you know, might as well read it. 
I uh, have men talk to me all the time about how great Tom Clancy is. I have trash taste already, so why not have different trash taste? So I'm going to try it out, see what I like, how I like it. Um, I do, I did find out that I really like Jeffy Archer, who is someone that I never thought I would like before um, during the lockdown because one of my, my friends gave me one of his books. Um, Tales You Win? Heads You Win? I think it's Heads You Win. Um, I lent it to my brother because I thought he would really enjoy it. And I do want to read more Jeffy Archer eventually, but it's a story for another time. Anyways, I was looking at my library holds and all of them are coming in in the next three weeks, as always. So, uh, I'm going to have to decide if I want to put some more of the holds off again. This will be my third or fourth time extending the holds on some of them. Because uh, I do want to get some of my physical books read. But, uh, we'll see. That's a, a story for another time. Um, I did get Real Men Knit come in the other day too. I can't remember if I told you that. Um, so eventually I will read that, but yeah, I've talked at you long enough, so I'm gonna go to bed, uh, do a little reading and listening to some podcasts, and yeah, that's about it. I'll see you tomorrow for an update. Hopefully I will film something else other than me just talking at you at the end of the night, but we'll see. I'll catch you tomorrow. So it's been a bit of a wild day. Uh, so because this is coming out a lot later, um, today was the day of the attempted coup in the United States. So that was fun. Looking forward to seeing how this all turns out. Not, not looking good. But, you know, there was a couple of bright spots of today too. I finished reading Hollow Pox, The Hemp for Morgan Crow, which I absolutely adored. It is such a sweet book. I've given it five stars and I love it. I also finished Knitting Sock, picture here that I posted on Twitter. Um, and that was great. It's like, you know, almost a month late. Still have to make another one. It was supposed to be a Christmas gift, but you know, like we're getting there, we're getting done. Uh, and I'm just gonna start on Pandemics before bed, um, a nice, light read um yeah so i you know, i work tomorrow today was my day off uh, so you know kind of feel guilty about not getting things done but i did watch too fast too furious this afternoon which is great for two hours before this whole thing happened with the coup um i had two hours of absolute bliss watching fast cars go vroom vroom and attractive people driving the fast cars that go vroom vroom and breaking the law great time. Anyways, I love Fast and Furious. You'll be hearing more about my journey watching them all uh, throughout the year. Um, me and my brother watched Fast and Furious, the first movie, I think back in October. And we were going to like try and get through them a little bit more quickly. Maybe it was September. I don't remember. But uh, obviously we didn't. So we watched Too Fast, Too Furious today. I think Tro Tokyo Drift is next. Um, so hopefully we'll watch that in the next couple of weeks because I am really enjoying the Fast and Furious movies. Um, yeah, so another news. Hello, my name's Colleen. I have trash taste. I hope you're staying safe and I hope to update you tomorrow uh, with anything fun and interesting that's happened and maybe do something other than show me right before bed. But uh, good night. A precious midday update. Uh, I got home from work a while ago, but I uh, finally got some orders come in. So I thought I would share those with you. So today I picked up Relax Damn It by Timothy Caulfield, um, whom I really enjoy. This will be the first book that I've read by him, but I've watched uh, his show and I follow him on Twitter. So and I also have The Glass Hotel by Emily St. John Mandel. I had originally pre-ordered it, but then Indigo canceled it on me and um, I just never got back to getting it. So glad to have those. Um, it is nap time, so I'm going to go and take a little nappy nap. Um, and catch up with you later. And we have thus come to the traditional end of my day, in which I tell you that I didn't do much today. I did a little reading and I'm going to bed. I did watch some of The Mandalorian tonight with my family, which was a lot of fun. Uh, again, this is their first time watching it, my second for the first season. So we're having a good time with it. We only watched two episodes uh, and I got some work done on my sock. So all in all, a great day. Uh, but that's um, really all I got for you today, so I'll see you tomorrow.
it has been several days since I last updated. I think the last time I filmed something was when we lost power a couple days ago for a few hours in the evening, uh, which really put a damper on some of my plans. But here I am, uh, updating you before bed. What else is new? Uh, so, you know, as you just saw, I finished on Pandemics. It was okay. It took me a lot longer to get through than I hoped it would. Um, part of it's just because I knew a lot of the stuff going into the book. I read quite a bit on different viruses and bacteria, um, infectious agents. So, like, it wasn't presenting any new information to me, so that made it a little less enticing, I guess. Uh, but it was good, especially if you don't know very much about infectious disease. It's, I think it's a very good jumping off point, and I think that uh, the author has a lot of really good social commentary as well about how uh, zoonosis is spread and um, what sort of economical, ecological, and social things can lead to the spread of the different zoonosis. Um, and just for those of you who don't know, most things that we have uh, that are affecting us are zoonosis. Um, for example, um, SARS-CoV and SARS-CoV-2 uh, are both zoonoses. Um, Lyme disease is a zoonoses. Many forms of pneumonia are... Um, the list goes on and on and on. Anyway, so if you're into that sort of stuff, On Pandemics was a great book for that. Um, just not really my cup of tea. I rated it a three star. Um, the other thing is I finally decided on how I'm going to limit my book buying this year. And that is I'm going to buy, allow myself to buy two books on paydays. So last payday, which was this past Friday, I bought one book. Um, it was the new release and it is The Light of the Jedi. So um, I will have to read that soon uh, to stick with my other goal of reading my 2021 releases uh, as I get them. So I think that is going to be the next physical book I read, but the next book I read is actually going to be Real Men Knit, whose author I forget, but I borrowed it from the library. So looking forward to that. Um, yeah, that's kind of all I have to say right now. So I'm gonna go to bed. I'll see you later. So I just got home from work and look what was in the break room. An Ark of the Liar's Dictionary by Ellie Williams. It's a book that I was thinking about buying, but was on the fence about. I wanted to wait until I heard some reviews. But it was there. It was free. So now it's mine. Uh, yeah, good day all around at work. Last night I did an update because... I was furiously reading. I finished Real Men Knit um, as an ebook, and it was um, it was good. I enjoyed it. I have no idea how to write romance books because th there's parts of it that I really don't enjoy. Uh, but overall, I did enjoy reading the book. Uh, so I think I'm gonna give it a three, and then talk about the good parts of the book. I don't know. It's just not not really my genre. But it is 10 to 11, which means it's nap time. So I'm going to go nap. I'll see you later. I think it's been a couple of days since I last updated. I worked all day today. As in during the daytime. I worked until 5pm. My body's not happy about it. Uh, but I am still reading uh, Light of the Jedi. I'm about a third of the way through. So it's coming. Coming along. I picked up another arc today at work. Uh, I got Time Travel for Love and Profit by Sarah Lavieri. Anyways, add to the stack. Don't know when I'll get to that. Uh, but I work at 5 o'clock in the morning. So I wake up at 4 o'clock. So I'm going to go to bed. Um, you know, I think this month's been pretty good. I think at the beginning of the month, I did a better job at vlogging than I am doing right now. But that's okay. That's fine. It's all good. I'll see you sometime soon. So it's Tuesday night. I have a headache. What else is new? I'm still reading um, Light of the Jedi. It's good. Um, I find it quite jumpy right now. So I'm having a hard time connecting to some of the characters because like, you get into it and then all of a sudden it's a different pers perspective. Um, but hopefully that gets better in the next little while. And today I started Relax, Damn It. 
by Timothy Calfield. I really like him. I read the first third of the book, which is about um, mourning. So he breaks... It's a book about making decisions and how you need to relax about what decisions you're making because no decision is really going to be 100% evidence-based and great. Uh, so I read the morning section, which covers waking up, breakfast, uh, like morning routine, things like brushing your teeth, um, getting to work, how you get to work, um, and the first part of your workday until lunch. So I'll read another third of that tomorrow, which will be good. I also plan on reading Spells on Wheels tomorrow as well. Um, yeah, but I'm tired and I'm going to bed. Oh yeah, tomorrow's the inaug inauguration too, so I'll probably watch quite a lot of that and do some knitting. So maybe you'll get a knitting update tomorrow. I'm working on a hat for myself right now, which is the only thing I've knit for myself in a long time <laughs> uh, before we go off into Sweaterland. Anyways, I talked a lot. Good night. Bye. So I didn't get everything that I planned to get done today done, but what else is new? I did get my new glasses chain in the mail. Very excited as someone who often takes their glasses off and forgets where they put them. Having them attached to me is going to be a great benefit. Uh, I haven't finished reading the section of Relax Damn It. Haven't touched Light of the Jedi yet today. Uh, but I did read Spells on Wheels earlier. I'm not going to put it in the stack of books that I've been collecting that are 2020 releases. Uh, because it won't look nice, if I'm going to be completely honest with you. Um... But I did enjoy it. I rated it a 4 out of 5. Uh, it's been a long time since I had read the first graphic novel in the series. Uh, so I think I probably should have reread it before I read the second one. Uh, it didn't have the same vibe as the first one. Uh, and I really loved the first one. Um, so I was having some, some vibe problems, I guess. Um, but yeah, I recommend the series a lot. So... I'll read it if you want to. I'm going to bed. Good night. I don't know if today was a good day or not. I made a TikTok. So that's something. It was about the inverted filter. I think the inverted filter makes me look better. So there we go. Uh, my friend also dropped off this adorable little gift to me. It's a plague doctor. And I am in love with it. Uh, so I'm going to just put him over there. I, I finished uh, Relax, Damn It. Uh, Timothy Calfell replied to my tweet and my Instagram and liked them both. So that was pretty cool. Um, but I'm uh, really tired. I also made cornbread. And I work tomorrow. So, you know, a lot of conflicting emotions. Uh, I didn't read any of Light of the Jedi today. I have a library book due back in 10 days, so I think I'm going to try and blitz through that. Um, real quick, like. Uh, I also might hold the Star Wars book until February uh, so that I can get another 2020 release done. I filmed something today. I haven't done any editing yet. I might do that on the weekend. Might wait till next weekend to do a lot of editing. So I have to edit all of this and the other thing that I filmed today. But it's about my February reading plans. Uh, I mean, obviously Canada Reads is a big one. But I was starting on planning a project. But then when I was looking at the stuff that I have for the project that I want to start, there's nothing for it for February. So... I wasted five minutes doing that today, but I it, still content, <laughs> still content. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to do in February other than Canada reads. Maybe I'll just continue to read 2020 releases. We'll see. Um, but yeah, anyways, that's it. That's all she wrote. Uh, I'm going to bed. Peace out. Gotta be honest, didn't do a whole lot today. Uh, I got a new calendar. It's an astrology calendar. I'm very basic. I haven't really read anything yet today. I did read a little bit of Tilly 
and the book wanders last night. It was, it was okay. Nothing too, too special yet. We'll see what happens as we go on. Um, I made dinner. I made some chicken risotto and it was good. But it is 8.11 and I am tired. Good night. So as you can see, I was pretty busy today. I had two of my friends that I normally play D&D &D with over for dinner tonight. Um, we normally would meet once a week, but we haven't been lately because one of our uh, party members has gone to visit their family in another country. So, you know, um, been missing them. So we had some schnitzel, some spatzel, some pretzels, and some brownies. And it was a very good time. It's uh, 9.30 pretty well now. Um, so I'm quite tired. But... This isn't about my social life, this is uh, about my reading life. Um, so for my e-reader, I read a little bit more of Patillion the Book Wanderers today. I'm about halfway through now. I'm enjoying it. It's still, you know, it's just okay. Uh, I'm not like super in love with it, but I I like it. Uh, I also started and The End of Her today by Sherry Lapina. Uh, and that is very interesting, very intrigued. I've only read 50 pages of it so far. So I mean, we'll see how it goes, but... I got some reading done, which was nice. Uh, tomorrow, I'm also off. Um, my brother is coming over in the afternoon to play some board games. Uh, and I work... Oh, sorry. I work Monday morning, so I'll probably go to bed a little bit earlier than I'm going to bed tonight. Um, but yeah, that's it. I hope you have a great night, and I'll see you tomorrow. It has been a minute since I did any updating on anything. Hasn't been, hasn't been a particularly good week, gotta say. I do have the weekend off, which I'm looking forward to. I got to edit this vlog. Uh, hopefully it won't take too long. I don't think I'll probably do very much editing to it, so you get what you get. Uh, but I, uh, I finished reading Light of the Jedi yesterday. I really enjoyed it. I rated it a four. I, uh, think the chapters would have been better if they were longer, because I didn't get to spend as much time with some of the characters as I would have liked today. I got, uh, Everyone Has a Podcast Except You by the McElroys. Excited to read that. I pre-ordered it, uh, a while ago. Came in. Great. I listened to, I signed up for their, uh, um, event that they had, uh, in lieu of a book tour, uh, and watched that the other night. That was a lot of fun. And right now I'm reading High Fire by Owen Colfer. I am, I guess, a quarter of the way through, maybe a fifth. No, no, a quarter. Um, so my goal is to finish that today and then start and finish something tomorrow. Um, I'm going to go eat and take a nap. Catch you later. So I'm going to wrap this up now so that I can start editing it. It's Sunday afternoon at four o'clock. I guess it's on a Sunday evening. I uh, got my hair uh, shaved today. Feels good. Feels nice. Looks a little greasy up top because I did a treatment earlier for my scalp. What are you going to do? Uh, really, that just means that I'm not going to be doing my granny chain appreciation uh, stuff today. So, you know, maybe tomorrow I'll look good with my freshly shone head and um, I'll put some eyeliner. Anyways, that's not important. It's a month away for you folks to see what that looks like. Uh, so today I did finish The Pull of Stars by Emma Donahue. Uh, so sad. 
so sad so good uh so timely really really loved it um yeah, i really don't know what to say about it i liked the secret lesbians that was a great little sprinkle in there um i worked in the nicu for a year so like a lot of the mother baby stuff was stuff that i already knew about so like that kind of hit hard um yeah i don't know i think it was a good month i read 14 books which is pretty good i will have a full thing coming wrap up that's what it's called uh, i've decided i'm only going to do hauls quarterly because i'm supposed to be buying less books so this is the only place you're going to find out about what books i bought in a month so more reason to watch my vlogs uh I should also have a video coming out with my reading plans soon. So hopefully that all goes to plan. I feel like there's a little chunk of hair missing here. Oh, well, you know what they say. You just, you just flip the hair over. It's fine. There we go. Um, but yeah, uh, stay tuned for more stuff, shenanigans, whatever. Um, See you next week for candor. Sorry. See you next month for candor reads. Um, and thanks for watching.